If like me, you're a fan of the Shure MV7 microphone, but maybe you've noticed that recently the software seems to have changed or disappeared altogether. That's right, Shure have given us some new software. Mm, we'll talk in a minute about it, but let me just show you how to get there. Now, if I just do, uh, I'm just gonna do a very quick live demo mode here in Ecamm so that I can show you what I'm doing. Um, there we go, right, this is Shure's website. So head over to Shure.com and under support, you will see software and firmware. And we're looking for Motive Mix, so you can just click download. It's gonna ask you to fill out your details, submit it, download it, and this is what it looks like. This is Shaw's Motive Mix app. Now, I'm not quite getting this. That I think the idea is they're trying to create something here where we can actually bring in our different inputs, monitor it, mix it, record it. I don't want any of that, and likely nor do you. So what we get is down here, this is the bit we need to look at, Shaw MV7. So ignore, this is just me with lots of mics attached or things I've used. All we need to do, look under your sources, it potentially might be hidden, Shaw MV7, and we need this little device settings at the side. You, mine is locked at the minute, because that's how I left it. You maybe by default will see all these settings and I'm conscious this is the mic I'm using. So hopefully it's not changing around too much as I'm playing with this. I recommend these are the settings you go for. Monitor mix really doesn't matter unless you're listening to the headphones. Mic position, this is set to near at the minute. And actually, let me just come out a second. Um, you can see me up here. So I've got the mic in here, only because at the start of the video, I wanted you to see the microphone. And I don't like touching it because you will hear it. But for me, I have it just down here. It's just out of shot. It's within, you know, that's not even a foot away from me really. So I would come over to here and my position would be far. And I can go up to 18 inches away from the microphone with it set to far. You can adjust this tone. So it's coming through at the minute on natural. Now it should be coming through on dark. I like that, it's just a little bit more rich. And uh, so I can set it on that. I can decide whether or not I want the little LED lights on. I've got mine turned on. Night mode just dims it down a little bit. And then all I do is I lock that in and that's my mic sorted. And I can now turn this thing off. We're back to where we were and my microphone is now dialed in to how I want it. Um, the old app was a nice slim little one that I could keep up at the side. I didn't mind that. This one seems to be a huge app trying to do so much more when all we want to do is actually be able to set this in, um, set it and forget it. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. I will be getting the new MV7 Plus next week. So as soon as that comes out or as soon as I get hold of one, um, I'll be looking at it, I'll be comparing the, the, the current MV7 to the MV7 Plus. And um, I don't know a lot about the MV6 actually, it's the cheaper model that is being well promoted right now. Let me see if I can get hold of one of those. And again, we can add it into the mix here and see how they look and sound and maybe give you some ideas as to which is the best one. But really, I just wanted to show you that software because it, I found it quite confusing and uh, at least now you've seen uh, what to do there. So I hope that's been useful. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you.